Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Bailey and I'm the owner of Goo Goo Goods. Goo Goo Goods is a small diaper bag as well as apparel company that I own that's on Amazon, Etsy, and my own Shopify website. I'll link everything down below if you want to check it out. Today is a very cool video because I'm going to be preparing for my first ever apparel launch for this Friday, February 17th. 2023. This is super exciting for me and this video probably isn't going to go up until like a couple days before that actually happens. So I know it's kind of late notice but I've already announced it on my TikTok and everything like that. But this vlog probably will not include the actual launch because this is probably just going to be a lot of me preparing and I'll have the actual launch in the next video. So I would like for you to come along with me as I get ready for my first ever apparel launch. Ooh, let's do it! The very first thing that we needed to get done before we got everything ready for the launch was we need to build some shelving. This is the Ivar shelf from Ikea. It's the wider one and it's been really, really good so far. Um, I like how wide it is so it carries a lot of stuff on it that normally would just be sitting on my dresser or on my desk. Something kind of funny, or not really funny, more like annoying, is as you see here, we're putting on one of the shelves. So you're actually supposed to put the cross brace on the back before you start putting on the other shelves. But we did like the buy online and pick it up in store option. And I guess we just didn't see that the cross brace wasn't included. So we had to go back later that day and get it. Ikea was really chill about it. They just gave us like the amount that the cross brace was worth on a gift card. So we had to go back through the showroom and pick it up in the self-serve area. We're super lucky that we don't live really far away from the Ikea. We only live about like 30 minutes. So it would have been really annoying if we were an hour or two hours away because then they definitely would have had to ship it to us. So I'm glad it wasn't that. Going to nighttime in three, two, one. Putting this shelf together is definitely a two person project. If you were having to do this by yourself, it would be very difficult. I don't know how you would do it. And if you have done it by yourself, just good job. Now it's time we stock the shelf with everything we need, starting with my Cricut that has been in retirement for about a year. This may sound kind of lame, but the roller printer was definitely the hardest thing for me to move over because I wanted to keep the labels in it while I moved it. So I had to unplug everything and like try to move it in two pieces. And for some reason that was like really difficult for me. I got this cute little pink basket from Ikea too, and I also got some plugs, and I didn't really get to show you them um, just then, but I got these little hole punches for hang tags for the diaper bags. I'm gonna use this basket for things like poly bags, like I just put in there, and I'm showing you that I got a new little Cricut heat press and some hang tags and a tagging gun, so I'll show you all that later on in the video. Okay, so this is the box full of the toddler sweatshirts that I got in from my embroidery place, and look how stinking cute they are. So these are gonna be in the Friday launch. Um, I've got sizes 2T, 3T, and 4T of this. And so it's just this cute little soft, like kind of like more of like a darker gray. It's, it kind of looks like a light gray in the camera. But it's actually more of a dark gray. But it's really soft and it's really cute. Now I'm gonna put it on my shelf. Okay, so this is just one of the sweatshirts that I made um, as my sample. And what I first want to do is make some tags to go right here that just like have my logo and like what size it is. So I'm gonna measure to see how big I want it to be. See, I think what I'm gonna do is like put it in this little area. So maybe like one and a half inches by three. Okay, one and a half by three. Let me write that down. Okay, and here's an example of kid sweatshirt. This one will probably be, I guess I can do one and a half. I guess I can do one and a half by three in that too. Okay, let's make some tags. Okay, so these are all my sizing tags that I'm going to move into Cricut Design Space and cut them out with my Cricut. Let's do it. All right, so I've got all my sizes here in Cricut Design Space. 
There's a lot of them that we're gonna have to cut out. All right, but let's put it on the Cricut. Here I am just cutting some vinyl with my little cutter to make them all the perfect size to fit on my sticky mat. I couldn't actually find my Cricut brand sticky mat, so I actually got this pack of three from Amazon that has like a normal stickiness, a light hold, and then like a strong hold, and it works just as good, and it was really inexpensive. I'll link it down below, and it worked out really good for this. to watch it go so yeah this is pretty soothing to me this part is definitely the most annoying part especially when like you're cutting out small letters taking the excess vinyl off is just like so tedious and messy so yeah this part was kind of frustrating to me while I was cutting these out that I accidentally printed out or like cut out way too many of the toddler sizes but it's okay I'll just have extra for the next time I need to do this. For this I got the little Cricut Easy Mini Press and I got it in blue. A lot of people have it in the red but I'm more of like a blue gal I think so I got it to iron these tags on. Lazy Sunday mornings hiding under covers I don't mind staying in with you Play your favorite movie laying right beside me I don't mind when it's just us two The corner coffee shop we like to go I walks with you to take me home With you I never feel alone These little songs Make me glad to call you mine And you have got my head in the clouds Your company don't need too much Just your simple love and it's everything The simple joy of hearing your voice Every morning I wake to a kiss on my face So I don't need too much Just your simple love and it's together we always have fun throughout the day i do anything to get your attention when you say you love me i seem to ascend to the heavens above where we fall in love i don't know what i would do without you because all i need all i need is you the next thing that I want to prep are these little stickers that I'm going to put on the bags whenever I pack something that lets people know that hey your order was shown on TikTok, Instagram, or YouTube and I thought it was a nice little touch so they can see their order being packaged. 
If it seems like I'm printing a lot, it's because I am manifesting that I'm going to have lots of orders in the future and that I will need all of these stickers. So yeah. Also, it's super fun to print a bunch of labels. It's not as fun to print like 10, so you gotta go for 100 at least. So each sticker will have a QR code that will take them to that social media of choice. We were finally able to pick up our sweatshirts from the embroidery place and thank goodness, here I'm struggling to get the box to stay open. So this is our Antisocial Moms Club sweatshirt. It's a dark green color with this like creamy, beigey, cute gold looking thread. Very cute, comment if you relate. The next sweatshirt we have is the Overstimulated Moms Club. As a twin mom, I definitely know what it means to be all touched out, overstimulated, all of it, but it's cute though. And then finally we have our Postpartum Glow sweatshirt, which I think is a good reminder that you just had a baby and you look great. And so I ordered a bunch of hang tags from Vistaprint. They're just normal business cards, but I'm going to use them with my tagging gun. And they finally came, and I ordered a thousand of them, so let's check them out. So you got my logo, and then on the back where they can find us on YouTube and to leave us a review. So this is the vision to put the tag on there with our brand name, and then This was my first time using the tagging gun and it was a little bit tricky because these tags are a little bit small so I was trying to poke it through without uh, stabbing myself in the finger or making a big hole in the sweatshirt. So this folding technique is a little bit time consuming and a little bit tedious, but I definitely think it's the best way to get it flat and get it ready for the bag. Putting it in the bag is definitely the most difficult part because it's kind of the same thing when you're packing to go like on a trip or something, how on the way down everything fits in your bag super duper good, but then trying to pack to come back, nothing fits. So yeah, that's what this is like. like that she's all ready to go I really hope you enjoyed watching me getting ready for the first launch if you did please subscribe so that I know that you guys like this type of video and that you want to see more of it in the future But thanks again so much for watching. Hope to see you in the next one.